Hello, welcome back to Tech It. Now this is just a quick detour to explain the basics of red red power piping, uh, pneumatic tubes even. This won't explain the recipes because you'll be able to figure them out like that by pressing R on things if you're in the Technic Pack. If you're not in the Technic Pack, try integrated redstone .wikispaces I think it's .com. That's the official wiki, that'll tell you all the recipes. But anyway, without further ado, the pneumatic tubes. Why are they better than Buildcraft, I hear you ask? Well, they're much more logical. They... I, I'm, I'm a... What are they called? A Vulcan. I'm a Vulcan at heart. Um, so I prefer these tubes. So I'll just explain how to use them. They attach to chests uh, just like normal things. However, you don't use engines to pull items out. What you do is... Bear with me. I just pop that in there. Oh, there's some in there too. Right. What you do is you use something called a transposer. That's your most basic uh, transportation thing in a blob. Um, now to to pull actually pull items out of the chest, you need to apply a redstone pulse to this, not just a current. So if you're a lunatic, you could stand next to it, uh, breaking and replacing a redstone torch. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? Um, or, you know, flicking a lever, pressing a button. But, if you're a normal, like me, then you can make one of these, which is something that's included in Red Power 2, and that's a timer. And you can set the time interval for this. Let's set it to something... I don't know, let's set it to 2.7. There we go. Now, as you can see, it's not working. It's not going anywhere. And the reason for that is, unlike Buildcraft pipes, they will only move items along if there's a valid destination. So if I put another chest down here... It'll start pulling them out. And you re the reason there's two close together there is because if there's no destination, it keeps them in the uh, it keeps the items in the pipe and in the transposer. So you don't need to worry about it uh, about it all overflowing. See, they just keep boinging back and forth in there. If I put the chest down. It'll start to work. So there you go. That's the basics. However, if you want to pull out more than one item at a time, let's say you want a whole stack, then you can... What happens there? Isn't there? Then you can upgrade your transposer, except you don't really upgrade it, you just kind of um, make something different, into a filter. And right-click on it with the screwdriver to rotate it, just like the other one. And that pulls out whole stacks. However, I'll just take these back. You're not restricted to whole stacks. What you can do... Oh. Yeah, don't right click it with the screwdriver, it'll turn around. What you can do is put in, say, 8 in there. And you can put anything you want in there, it doesn't have to be the same thing, you could put lots of different things. For instance, if I put a pneumatic tube in there as well. And then, every time it goes round, it'll only pull out 8, you see? If I put in tube as well, I don't think it'll actually pull anything because, yes, it's not the top. So I can put that there, and then only pull out one at a time. You can also give these colour codes. Now there is a reason for that, which you'll see later. Uh, basically red power is very good for sorting. Another thing to mention on these machines, basically all of the red power machines, the big hole is the entrance and the little hole is the exit. They've got a big mouth and a tight ass. And that'll see you through all of the red power machines. Okay, but what if there's more than one destination? We put a... Uh, Okay, let's replace that with a transposer again. Bring back the dirt and the tubes. <laughs> if I put another chest down here, you'll see that everything is now going to that chest because it goes to the closest valid destination. However, if I put it here, then the distance to both of these is the same. So, theoretically, it should split itself evenly between them. There we go. One down there, and one across there. So, now you can understand how people make sorting systems. It's all about making it go to the nearest place. These timers, you can turn off by applying a redstone current to them. The simplest way is, of course, a lever. And just to further outline the whole uh, equal distribution thing, these seven chests here are the same number of blocks away from the transposer. I've got dirt in here, and if we set this to uh, set it to something low, half a second, 
Turn it on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We should see that there will be one block of dirt in each of these chests because it's gone to each of them equally. If we let it go 14 times, there'd be two in each of the chests. To prevent your items from going to a nearer chest, you can use something called a restriction tube, which is like a normal tube but with the X Factor logo in the middle. Um, if I pop that down there, that counts as 500 blocks. So it's like having 500 of these between the junction and the chest. So if we turn that back on, whoops. Okay. You'll see that it's only going to this one, and it'll only go down there if, say, this chest fills up. So it's good for overflows. If I break that, now it'll start going there because it's the only valid destination. Now the main draw of red power is its sorting machines. Bitches be all about the sorting machines. This is a sorting machine, that's the input there, and that's the output with all the veins on it. So if I put uh, a chest there, let's put a bit of dirt in there, let's put some pneumatic tubes and the timers. Now, in fact, I need... Bear with me. <laughs> need more dirt. If I right click on that, not with the screwdriver, the screwdriver rotates it just like the other things. If I right click on that, I can put some dirt in there and choose to give the dirt a colour tag when it travels through the pipes. Now we saw this earlier. This has different modes. In this first mode here, it'll wait until it's got items in this column before moving on to the next one. The next mode, you left click there and you right click to go back. You left click it, it will wait for all the items in that column before moving on to the next one instead of just one item. This one uh, will always wait for all the items in, the, in a column but it doesn't move along, it just waits for items. This is the mode that's the best, that'll just pick up any item into it and sort it. And this one, beg your pardon, this one is the one that's the best one because if there's a if an item pulls, is pulled through that can't be matched to a colour, you can assign another colour to it. So in fact I'll set that to white. Um, and then if I, I just take one of them and one of them. That in there and that in there make that pink and that sort of bluey grey, can't really tell. <laughs> so um, if we just pop a, a tube down there, put a chest there. Only thing with these is they require blue tricity, which I completely forgot about. So if we just make uh, some soda panels here. This is overkill. You will not need this many soda panels. You could probably just um, hook up a couple of thermopiles even. Anything. I'm just doing this just because I can. Uh, let's make some blue alloy wire. There we go. Okay. So now... That should be charged up. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so let's put something else in there that isn't doesn't have a colour code. Let's put a chest in there. Now, there we are. You can see it pulls out the dirt and gives it that orange code. Oh, I don't need that many dirt in there, do I? Okay, there we go. The tubes are pink. And eventually, there we go, the timers are that colour, and the chest is white because it it didn't match anything in there. So, uh, you, don't, you don't need to do it like this. What you could do, say, if you had a pipe coming in from elsewhere, you could just feed a pipe straight into the front of that. And in fact, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Pipe, uh, pipe, chest, transposer. Right click to rotate, let's uh, put the timer there. Then if you see, it'll just pass through. And in that sense, this acts a little bit like a relay. Now a relay can be used if you want a certain route to count as the shortest destination, even if it isn't. So, let's say I had another chest. Of course, 
if you're in the Technic pack, you could you could be using anything. You could be using macerators, uh, anything. <laughs> um, with these tubes, if you feed it into the top, that's the input, and it outputs on the side. Blue electric furnaces, however, the input is on the left and the output is on the right. So, let's say you wanted something to go over here, but you wanted it to go there over the other way. Let's pop the pipes down. If I can. There we go. Whoops. Where even is that chest? Why did I put it so far away? <laughs> right. Now, obviously, things are going to go to that chest first. If you want them to go to that chest first, you can make one of these, which is a relay. Pop that down there. That now counts as the closest destination. Big hole the input, of course, little holes the output. It will use this space to hold on to items that it can't deliver anywhere else. Once that's full, it won't be a valid destination anymore. Now, if I if I go get my stuff back, bloody stuff. Wherever I put it, we are. Let's put that in there. Uh, that'll do. Now it'll head through there, and out there, because that's the closest destination. Even though it's got that great big pipe behind it, it counts this as the chest. And you could use a transposer there as well. The problem with that is you'd need to apply a pulse to it to, to let items through. And that can lead to awkward timing issues. I had uh, huge problems with that in my, in my main playthrough. Anyway, let's leave that for now. Pick up some of this dirt. Some of this filth. I do. Oh, I had too much in there. We don't need that many. Have that, there we go. Okay. Um, okay, so. You can assign colours to things, but what good is that if they only go to the closest destination? Well. Let's say you wanted... What colour was dirt? Dirt is orange. Let's say you wanted all the dirt to go there and everything else to go all the way over there. Let's say you had a house all the way over there. And a recycler, for instance, there. In fact, let's do that. In fact, let's not. In fact, yes, let's... <laughs> Uh, I've got two extra timers there, I don't need them, do I? Okay, let's have a recycler, let's have a... Let's have a high voltage solar array. Now, the problem is, that would be going into the wrong place. So we need to feed it into the top. Put that there. Uh, oh, actually... Medium voltage is... Actually, that's a high voltage, isn't it? Beg your pardon? High voltage 512, so I'm going to need bloody transformers now. Bloody hell. Why did I do this? Transform Robots in disguise. So we want that one and that one. I think this should work. Don't quote me on this. Can't quite... Uh... There we go. There we are. Of course, the side with the lightning bolt is the input, which is slightly awkward when they're next to each other. Okay, fingers crossed. Um, I could have just given myself some transformer upgrades, actually. That would have done this, the same thing. No worries. If it blows up, I'm an idiot. Thank God for that. Right. <laughs> so, in fact, I'll send that out that way. I'll get onto this later. Okay, let's say you want your dirt to go into the recycler and everything else that way. In that case, you need to make sure that that's the closest route, uh, because that's where you want to send things. So we do that again. However, this time, we get a, a paintbrush, combine it with some orange dye, and do that. So then only things that are tagged orange will be able to go through there. Everything else will not see it as a valid route. So if we turn the lever back on, turn the, uh, the timer back on even, all the dirt you see will go that way. The pipes are not tagged that colour, so they'll go down that way. Likewise, the solar panel. I've got to bloody get them all. So they've all gone straight into the uh, the recycler, which is cool. No scrap from it. If you wanted to extract from the recycler, then you'd put a transposer or a filter on the side here. And, uh, and pull it out. What I've got in my main series, I've got three recyclers. Three transposers next to them. And then I've joined the transposers up with something called redstone tube. Which is you just combine pneumatic tube with, uh, with redstone. And you get a redstone tube. There we go. 
and then I've put a timer connected to the tube. To connect to the tube, you need to use jacketed wire, and to connect the a lever or whatever to the jacketed wire, you need red alloy wire. It seems a little bit complicated, but it's very easy once you once you get your head around it. I will go to my factory in a moment, and you'll see what I mean by all this. So anyway, and then the advantage of this sorting system is that then, say if nothing else is sorted, I can bring things back round again. Uh, not sure why I wanted to put it there. Let's put it there anyway, into a chest there. That's the overflow chest. However, I'll need a white paintbrush to paint like that. So if we head on back over there, get our stuff. the dirt, we know this already, that'll go down there, tubes will come down this way, only the solar panels are white so they'll go up there, because that's their closest valid destination. So that's essentially how these sorting systems work. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention about uh, redstone tubes is that they work with covers, covers that are in a uh, red power can't really see them. <laughs> there we go. So what this means is, uh, let's say, let's say I wanted two pipes adjacent to each other. I just put these covers down like that. Not pipes, they're tubes. And then just take a pipe next to it like that. You see? It's awesome. <laughs> now, now relays are not only there as relays. They're also uh, they're also there to enable your redstone red power piping network tube network to communicate with other things like build craft for instance uh, so I just get rid of some of this now okay that'll do for now so let's say we had a, a quarry need a quarry and I need energy link energy link there Quarry there. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> That's fine though. Uh, then. God. Right. That build pretty fast because it's a lot of voltage. It won't go very far though. <laughs> now, if you, you will know that if you put a chest next to a quarry or a pipe out the top, it'll either send things along the pipe and spew them out all over the place if it's not connected to anything, or if you have an adjacent chest, it'll place items in that chest. We'll just wait for it to start up. There we go, items in the chest. Now a relay counts as a chest for things that need a chest. At the moment, it's not pointing in the right direction. I need a... Okay. Fantastic. See, because it, sti it, it still counted as a chest, even when it was facing the wrong direction. <laughs> now it's just spewing things out, but... Oops. There's his inventory. That's what it can hold before it needs to... before it's full up. Before it starts spewing out there again, I presume. I don't really know, to be honest. Um, this is only the basics. But now I can take this wherever. I can stick it in my sorting system. Out it comes. Fantastic. So, there's no need to worry about connecting it to everything else because you can use relays for that, and they're very easy to make as well. Yep, just a transposer and a buffer, reddit wafer. It's easy. Easy. <laughs> so, if I just go onto a server that I've been using with some friends on my own computer. There we go. And I'm on creative mode, it seems. Okay, not complaining. So this is my sorting facility. It's not quite finished at the moment. At the mo I haven't put relays in yet uh, by the uh, the quarry. I'm about to do that. Um, so let's just give ourselves some stuff. Uh, let's have a bit of. Hang on a second. Let's give ourselves some some dirt, uh, some wood, stone bricks cobblestone and some iron ore right 
Now these are my, this is a bank of sorting machines I got from a, a, a blog, I'll put the link on the, in the description. Things that aren't sorted are colour coded red and they'll go into the next sorter. Things that can't be sorted even after they've gone through all of the sorters will head down into the basement where I have my thermo piles. Another relay there. And they'll come along here into the exceptions chest, so I can I can pick them up in there and stick one of them in the sorting machines. So they come out of there. Some stuff goes down there. Now obviously that's uh, that's the shortest route. If we come from the end of the sorting machines, as you can see, so everything would like to go down there. However, only yellow things can. The next shortest route is into the recyclers. Here's what I was talking about with the jacketed wire and the uh, the alloy wire and the redstone tubes. You see when I turn that on, there we go, all of the transposers go. So yeah, that's the next shortest route, but only green things can go down there. That's the next shortest route again, but only blue coated things can, can go down there, and that will be ores and things. Oh, hello. Don't know when that happened. Um, and then they'll, they'll just head into the furnace, and then into the chest. The next shortest route again is into the compressor, but only uranium goes into there. And you can see I'm outputting on the side. And finally, oh, and there's that route as well. And these routes, forgot about them. But as you can see, only purple coded stuff will go down there, only blue in there, and only black in there. And you'll be able to see as well, I've used these glass covers to great effect there. So everything will go into the right chest. I put uh, loads of restriction tubes there, so that counts as uh, thousands of blocks. Things that haven't been able to go anywhere because sometimes uh, things might bounce back from the macerator if it's already full they'll just come back around and they'll head straight back into the chest again so it's easy from the quarry I, I want to put uh, oh, here we go I can put a buffer there on top of the quarry you see bring a uh, pneumatic tubes up and just attach them in here somewhere or possibly I, I may just attach them there into the chest, may as well. Uh, okay, so nothing in the exceptions chest at the moment. If I pop that in there, and turn on the facility. See, there we go. Everything's laid out in there. Some stuff isn't, so it'll keep on going. Nothing can go down the yellow because it's not yellow. The green stuff finds its nearest destination. The blue stuff find its nearest destination, and the purple stuff, the building materials, will go down here. Fingers crossed. <laughs> there it goes. Fantastic. Fantastic. So there you go, that's my sorting facility, in a nutshell. And this is what you can do with the red power, and this is why I love it. <laughs> if we head over here... I've got uh, pipes come in carrying all the scrap to here because the, the scrap will then head up there into the uh, into a what's it called mass fabricator comes from there. Thermo piles downstairs. These these things here are retrievers. Now these act a bit like filters except they don't pull from chests and deposit in tubes they pull from tubes and output their their backside either into a chest or a pipe so you see here i'm using this to pull out of two adjacent chests and i've just put the pipe between the chests so it pull from them equally if there's nothing in there it works just like a filter it'll pull whole stacks out or you can set the stacks you can also assign color codes you know for instance i could put seven bits of scrap in there and it would only pull out seven at a time a chest there because there might be overflow, you never know. And a transposer there. I think it's a transposer. Yeah. Another one there. Okay, no, hang on. Down here, there's a cobblestone generator. Got this layout from the same website. I got the uh, sorting machine layout, actually. Jacketed wire to attach to the, uh, the redstone tubes. Now this will bring a pipe up here, that will deposit into two macerators, then this retriever will pull from both of the macerators, output up there into some compressors, that retriever will pull down from both of the compressors, and you can see there I've 
I've put redstone tubes there to apply a redstone current to the, because uh, there'll be singularity compressors and, and rotary macerators. That outputs up there into an alchemical chest. Retrievers is something I actually forgot to mention earlier, but as I said, it was only the basics. You can, if you understand it, you'll be able to look it up and, and it'll all make sense to you. Don't worry. Uh, so hopefully this has been of some help, even though uh, it was a little bit of a waffle. <laughs> but uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Like it if you did. And I'll see you soon.